Before I show you the last video of my India challenge, I just want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for supporting me and for sponsoring this video. It helps so much with travel costs, camera equipment, so thank you. Skillshare has over 25,000 courses in videography, photography, design, business. So whether you're looking to start your own business or learn how to edit videos, Skillshare is a place to go. When I started making videos, I didn't have a clue how to use the camera or how to edit videos. And when I first went on Skillshare, one course in particular I found really useful and helpful was video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro 2018 for beginners with Jordi Vanderput. Skillshare have sorted us right out because the first 500 people to click the link in description get a free two month unlimited access trial. And after that, it's around $10 a month. I appreciate that Skillshare. Now I hope you enjoy my last day in India. It was such an interesting place. Currently 4.22 and still no sleep. It is now 7.44 and I've had a solid three hours. I feel a bit refreshed actually. After I filmed at 4.22, I must have just gone out like a light. Right, first things first, there's a guy literally starting yoga right next to me, so I'm gonna get out of this hotel. Fair play, that hotel has done me good over the last couple of nights. It's a really nice hotel as well, but it's like 500 quid a night. You get what you pay for at the end of the day though, and it is probably the best hotel in Mumbai. From sleeping by the pool, like outside for the last two nights, look at my legs with mosquitoes. Look how bad my legs are. Look at my knees. My legs are in bits, honestly, it's so bad. I can't even begin to tell you how itchy they are. Right, plan for the last day. Adnan, who I met on the first day, I'm gonna be catching up with him in like a few hours. So I've got a few hours by myself until I meet him. To be honest, I'm starting to feel tired again now, I'm walking. So I'm thinking if I can get like a couple of hours somewhere, that'll be perfect. I've obviously been into a couple of hotels now, but there is a couple of other options on the bay. So I'm gonna head up that way and see what we come across. Right, this is the first other option coming up now. Let's see what this has got to offer. Hi, how are you? You okay? Uh, nice to see you. How are you? Good? Good, good. good day. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All good? Thank you. Right, work out where I'm going in here. Restaurants that way. Another restaurant that way. Let's try the left. Right, what do we have here? Lobby, kebab corner, pool gym number eight. Right, let's see what's up here. Oh yeah. There's nobody even here. There's absolutely nobody here at all. The whole place. Look at the whole place to myself. Look at the view off here. So this is the whole of the bay. So Adnan was telling me that they call this the bay the Queen's Necklace. You can see the pollution though, can't you? You can see like how misty it is from up here. I really wanted to get some drone footage on this trip. I've got my drone with me, but it seems really strict around here. And there's like an army base, like not too far down the road by the gate of India that I went to. So I don't think it's a clever idea flying the drone in India. Well, not in Mumbai anyway. Right, let's go and have a look what's up here. Oh, yeah, I spoke too soon. There is somebody here. Hi, how are you, you okay? Oh, am I okay just to take a seat? Ah, uh, uh, good, thank you. Look at these beds. That guy's sound enough to be fair. So up here you've got a pool, you've got beds there, one with my name written all over it. Then obviously you've got the view of the city here. Oh, I'm gonna try and get a couple of hours before I meet Adnan. This is the first time on this trip that I've actually laid flat. I'm gonna enjoy this. Tell you what, I needed that. Feeling a bit better now. I'm meeting Adnan exactly where I met him on the first day. I'm a couple of minutes late, so we should be here. In fact, here he is on a moped. 
Oh my god, this is gonna be ridiculous. Hey, how are you, mate? Hey, how are you doing? You're on a bike? Yep. Oh my god, mate, driving that round here must be crazy. Yeah. Before we do anything, Adnan kept it quiet. It was his birthday yesterday. How old? 20. 20 yesterday. Yeah. Happy birthday, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> you get nervous driving it round? I'm used to it. In the beginning, yeah, it was really bad because, you know, people honking at him everywhere. Yeah. And no one gives you a but now I'm used to it. It's not that bad. Fair dues. Okay, sweet. Are we doing this? Doing this. Let's do it. Let's I'm just jumping on the back, I guess. Yeah, you'll be jumping on the back. Sweet. Mate, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't worry, it's fine. Talk you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, they can even whack him already. This is ridiculous. Just flying down Marina Drive. Where's the first stop? I guess we'll head to Antilla first. It's the world's most expensive house. World's most expensive house? Yeah. It costed him one billion dollars. One billion? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it's not that bad, believe me. So far, so good. If I drop this camera, I'm screwed. How far is it? Oh, it's another five minutes or so. Another five minutes. How are you? Good day? Ramchi. Ramchi? Yeah, yeah. Ah, have a good one. We've just stopped and Adnan said this building over here, what's it called, the Antilla? The Antilla. It's worth one billion dollars. It's worth one billion dollars. The richest Who? man in India stays here. The richest man in India yeah. lives there. And the house belongs to uh, the Ambani family and the residents in that house are four people. It's That's four it. people who live in the whole thing? Yeah. It has an indoor swimming pool, a jogging track, a race course, snow world, you name it. That That's is like, crazy. Like first 10 to 20 floors are only parking for all their cars. No way. Yeah. Right, we are on the go again. Look at this traffic. Everybody's just like trying to get through everywhere. Are we all good? Okay. All good. Yeah. India, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Hey, very nice. So second stop, we've stopped at that's a mosque, right? Yeah, it's called Haji Ali. Haji Ali. Haji Ali. Haji Ali. Yeah. There's a lot of people walking to that. Yeah. It's one of the main tourist attraction spots in Mumbai. So currently there's a low tide right now, so that's why the water's not in. Yeah. Otherwise the water fills up all the way up to here. Everybody's beaming. We ain't gonna get anywhere any quicker, are we? Let's all beep! Beep! <laughs> Everybody's looking. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody beep, we've got places to be. We're just in a slight traffic jam, but we're getting there. Ah, the exhaust is burning your leg. Whoa. India is one crazy place, isn't it? It's just hectic. Whoa, what's this mad one doing? Give him a beep, he needs beeping. So in front of us is an ambulance, but it ain't getting very far, is it? I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be waiting for that ambulance. We've just got off the bike. In what part of Mumbai is this? This is the Dungri area of Bombay. The Dungri area. This is like the slum area. It's not really nice to see, but you know, I want to experience it and see what it's like. Uh, yes. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Have a lovely day. What is your name? Simon. What about yours? Hina. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. That's amazing. And photo. India, India. India. Can I keep this? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Beautiful country. Ah, uh, uh, no problem. Thank you. What's your horse called? Badal. 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 Ah, Badal. Shadow. Shadow. Shadow and Badal. Awesome. Lovely to meet you anyway. You have a good day. Chickens just on the side of the road. What lovely, lovely people. Adnan was saying it's Republic Day coming up on the 26th and they make these flags so they can sell on the streets and stuff. Despite him having absolutely nothing, he still give me one for free. Adnan was saying as well, those houses, those like little slum hut things, are uh, one million rupees. A normal one hall square room will yeah. cost you around 10 lakhs or 30 lakhs, which is approximately one or two million rupees. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Oh, that's a lot. It's not even cheap. Now that is a skill. There's like loads of pots and pans in there. She's just completely balancing it. 
I just wish I could do something, but it says a lot about what type of people they are. Lovely people. Right, plan now. We're jumping back on the bike and into the chaos, and we'll see where it takes us. We've not long got off the bike. Adnan actually took the bike back to his and he invited me in to meet his family and what a lovely family, mate. I'm not gonna lie, his mum did give me some biscuits and a coffee, so I might have had a little bit of help. <laughs> Surely you can't begrudge me a coffee and some biscuits, though. What do you reckon, mate? Do you think I'll get some stick for that? Yeah, I think you should. Oh, brilliant, cheers! <laughs> Adnan's just showing me around where he lives. It's really nice, you've got like, a footy pitch over here, then there's like a public park over here. Have you lived here long? Yeah, I lived here for 20 years. 20 years? All yeah. your life you've been here? Yeah, all my life I've been here. And how here. far is this from the Taj where I stayed last night? Um, not far, I think around 10 to 15 minutes. Ah, okay, yeah. so, so not this too is like, So my area comes in like the proper, proper Bombay. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's where it comes in. So it's not far, it's still central? It's still central, yeah. 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 Adnan's off out for food with his family in like what? 20 your mum said 30 so. minutes, so yeah, about 10 minutes ago. Like so before I leave you, mate, I've got a question for you. Come in well, spending two days with me, really, of this three-day challenge, from watching the videos to seeing it real, what are your thoughts? Spending the day with you, I realise actually how difficult it is for you to do it. I mean... And, I <laughs> especially mean, in India. Yeah, especially in India, it's so hard. I mean, doing the Mackie trick in India, it's so tough as compared to yeah. doing it in the UK. But honestly, I've had such a cool time. Oh, mate, the it's pleasure's been, all mine, mate. I mean, it's been it's been honestly a privilege. It's been so fun hanging out with this guy. Oh, oh mate, it's the been pleasure one of the best is all mine. Of my life. <laughs> we've had a laugh. Oh, we've had a laugh, yes. And thank yes. you for not crashing that bike. Right, mate, this is us. This is us. Thank you so much again Honestly, for everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you so much. Mate, I'm gonna miss you too, yeah. we've had a laugh. Thank you mum and dad again for the tea and biscuits. Yeah. Tell them thank you for getting me into trouble. No <laughs> subscriber help. <laughs> no, but honestly, thank you mate. Look after yourself, have a nice Love evening. Too. Keep in touch. What an absolute lovely, genuine guy. And his family were really nice too. It's a shame I didn't film them, but I've never met them before and I didn't just wanna walk into their house and start filming, so. Right, I'm just gonna take the 10, 15 minute walk from Abnans back into the center. And I am back where I started the vlog. You can't see it because it's dark, but the sea's behind me. I tell you what, I am absolutely exhausted. These last three days have definitely taken it out of me. Again, similar to the last day in Dubai, I've not eaten a thing today apart from them biscuits in Adnan's house. I'm absolutely starving, but the thing is, I woke up, then I went to sleep on that bed by the pool, then from there I met Adnan straight away, and then we're going on the bike, jumping on, jumping off, seeing all these places, and before you know it, the day's just gone, and I'm absolutely starving now. It's the same with Dubai. I chill by the pool in the Atlantis and I'm trying to catch the buses to get back to the Burj Khalifa. The day just goes. So my thoughts on India. This has been probably one of the most interesting trips I've had. I came here with absolutely no expectation at all. Like what I was thinking before I come, I didn't even have a thought of what it would be like. A few people told me it was like really busy and a bit crazy, but I didn't really give it much thought to be honest. But now I've spent three short days here, I can completely completely confirm it is absolutely crazy and mega hectic. So my thoughts are, I wouldn't say Mumbai is your typical holiday destination, I haven't seen many tourists, but if you're looking to travel and have amazing experiences, this city would definitely deliver on that. The people are amazing, the scenery is amazing, it's just an interesting place. The fact that it goes from one extreme with like super rich and then super poor in the slums, it opens your eyes, definitely opened my eyes, 100%. It's such a difficult one to try and explain and get across, but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to say after seeing my videos for the last three days. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's reached out to me on this trip, or seen in the street, or anything. It really means a lot, especially the people from Mumbai. You've been great. Thank you so much. Right, I'm going to end the vlog. I can't wait to get home and just get into bed and have a nice hot shower. I've not even had a shower for these three days. I must stink. Thank you so much for all the support and all the messages. It really means a lot. And just a small way of saying thank you, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to give away one skint t-shirt, doesn't matter what colour or size or wherever in the world. All you've got to do is follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. It's the same Simon J. Wills. Like my last photo on Instagram and tag two people. Once you've done that, I'll pick a winner on the next challenge. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And if you could drop a like and a comment on this video, it would mean a lot. Right, get me back to the UK. Have an amazing week and I will see you next Monday. Bye for now.